Hey everybody, Liz LePage here. I'm gonna do a short clip video for you about how to batch process a whole bunch of engagement photos using a preset inside of Perfect Effects. So I've got a whole bunch of images here and one of them is already processed with a preset, which you can see right here. And I want to process all of my other images using that exact same preset. So first I need to select all of my photos just by using Control or Command A. I need to deselect this photo here. It already has the preset, so I don't need to process it again. So I'll go ahead and hold the Command key on a Mac or Control key on a PC. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm just gonna go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on Export. Now, once you're inside the Export dialog, there's lots of different things that you can do. Up at the top of the screen, there's a plus button that allows you to add or subtract different ways that you wanna process your image as you export it. So right now it has photo size selected, which we don't need, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then we're gonna open that menu up again and select effects preset. Now from here, you can select any preset, one you've created or one that On1 One has created. I'm gonna to go to the top drop-down menu and choose the category of preset. I'm gonna go down to portrait presets. And then underneath the second drop-down menu, I'm going to scroll down to one called Lusk Engagement Matte. And that's the one that I just created with that other photo. So we'll go ahead and select that option. There's also a button that allows you to pause on the first image. I love to use this option a lot because I can take a look at how the preset is processing with my photos. You don't have to use this, but I think it's really, really useful. Then underneath, you can select your file type. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at JPEG. I can choose my location. I'm going to make sure it's set to current folder. And then underneath where it says overwrite without warning, I want to open that up and select prevent overwrite. That basically makes sure that I keep all of these original files if I want to re-edit them, and it creates a duplicate with the preset of my choice. Last, I can adjust my file name if I want to. I can add in different text, I can add in dates and serial numbers and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this and just select current name. Then it'll add the word copy at the end on all of the ones that I edited and I don't have to worry about renaming any of my files. So once I'm done, I'll go ahead and just click export. All right, so once it's gone through and it's processed all of my images, it's gonna let me know that it did so without any errors. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I can take a look at all of my original files next to all of my edited versions. So I have my original of an image, and then over to the side, I have my new edited version. This is a really great way to batch process a lot of images from a photo shoot all at once and to make sure that they're nice and uniform with a preset from the program of your choice.